This is Megan and Phil. From Perfect Finish Ortholab, part of the Orthodontic Resource Group, here's a brief summary of the many styles of TAD-supported expanders available. The first one is the MSC, Maxillary Skeletal Expander, developed by Dr. Juan Moon out of UCLA. This expander comes in 8, 10, 12 millimeters of expansion. The laboratory needs a maxillary scan or impression and bands for the first molars. 3D printed bands for the first molars can be provided by the laboratory. The four TAD locations are predetermined by the expander as the TAD rings are built into the housing of the screw. The four legs of the expander are made of soft wire and only aid as a guide for the correct positioning and seating of the appliance. A transfer tray can be provided with the legs removed in advance if requested. Sufficient TAD length has to be considered as there is a 2.5 millimeter housing thickness which has to be taken into account. The next appliance is the MARPI, Micro Assisted Rapid Palatal Expander. A conventional RPE screw is used and TAD housing rings are laser welded to the screw housing based on the locations indicated by the clinician. Any brand and most styles of screws can be used. The TAD locations need to be clearly indicated on the cast. A laboratory analog may also be used to indicate TAD locations. The MARPI design gives more flexibility for TAD placement locations within the palette. It also gives more flexibility with screw sizes to accommodate different palatal shapes. Lastly is the acrylic supported TAD expander. This system may be the most simplistic to fabricate and seat. The TADs are placed in advance of expander fabrication and an impression or scan is taken to be sent to the lab. The lab will fabricate the acrylic based expander around the TAD locations. The clinician then secures the appliance to the TADs with a light cured acrylic like triad gel. Advantages of this appliance are having the flexibility with TAD locations and using any brand of TAD you prefer. The TADs can be shorter than with other systems as they don't have to account for the metal housing thickness. If you need more information on laboratory fabrication, please contact your local lab or one of the members of the Orthodontic Resource Group.